The anime starts with a young boy holding the hands of a girl, while the city around them is rampaging in fire due to a colossal monster called a savage. It accumulates some fire and charges it on the city and it is enough to fly them in the air and separate each other. He sees that the girl who was with him is in the hands of a savage now. Forces appear on the scene and launch their attack on the savage due to which the girl slips off its hands. That boy runs off to the girl, he sees her bleeding and something is happening with her body. He hugs her as the forces launch an attack on Savage, after some time, his eyes open and he is on the plane. It was his dream of that day and thinks about the girl in his dream. He arrives to a Academy City ship named Little Garden, which is quite large and sees there is a flag hanging with his name on it. He tries to hide from students who speak loudly in speakers to welcome him by calling him by the name Kisaragi Hayato, but he runs from them. Using the map, he reaches to place where the entrance ceremony has to be held. A boy runs to him and introduces himself by the name Emil Crossfold who is also a newcomer. In the auditorium, the student council Claire Harvey president comes to the stage and is about to greet the newcomers. Just then two girls from before who were at the airport arrives there, and on asking the reason of being late they tell that they went to the airport to pick up Kisaragi, however he is already sitting in the audience, causing the president to doubt their words. The president tells them that Little Garden has no place for those who do not obey the regulations. Emil and Kisaragi stand for those girls not expelled from the academy. The president lectures them that disobedience of rules can lead to risks on the battlefield against savages. She warns them that if they show resistance, they will also be expelled from Little Garden and Kisaragi about his opinion of expelling those girls, but he tells her to be lenient. She challenges him to a duel in the Colosseum, and if he wins, the girls will not be expelled. Emil takes Kisaragi to her friend Charlotte, the chief researcher, with her assistant Maymay. <laughs> Charlotte gives him hundred a fighting tool for slayers against Savage and can take multiple forms depending upon the user. He practices on the ground using his hundred flying swallow with Emil using arm shroud hundred and gets defeated. After the practice match, he goes to his sister Karen, who is hospitalized but due to running out of meeting time returns back to his room, where he gets to know Emil as his roommate. While Emil is sewing a badge on Kisaraga's shirt, he gets hurt by the needle. He immediately gives him first aid because seeing someone hurt reminds him of an attack by savages in the past. The next morning the duel between Kisaragi and Claire Harvey begins. For the duel between Kisaragi and Claire, there are rules explained that there are 15 minutes for the match, and if one competitor is knocked out or has their energy run out, then he is defeated. Claire declares that she will not use her full body armament against him, which makes a weapon to release the full power and the fighter to use full capabilities. In other words, she will hold her power against him. The fight begins after 10 seconds countdown. He cannot use his abilities well, so he accidentally flies toward her and falls on her. She gets enraged and fights back using her hundred, and he falls back. <laughs> Emil encourages him to charge at her using his fists, and he does so, but she blocks him. He makes his other attack using his sword imbued with power and charge on her, she avoids it too, using a shield. She uses her weapons to attack him, and he falls. She molds her hundred into a gun form buster cannon, to give him a final attack. He powers up, but he seems to be within his limits. When she attacks him, he cuts off her attack and fights back using his full body armament that he magically awakened with his movements being dramatically improved. She is on edge, so she uses her full body armament and plunges her final attack on him. He cannot avoid it, takes damage, and falls on the ground unconscious when Emil comes to him. According to the rules, she has defeated him even using the full body armament that she said she wasn't gonna use, and she declares that she has lost to him. It is decided to set a tie in this match in official records. When he comes to his senses, he sees that he is hospitalized and Claire is standing beside him. Upon asking her, he learns about the cancellation of the expulsion order for girls. She tells him he acquired his full body armament and barrier ability in his first duel. She is just there to apologize to him and goes away. Emil is in the hospital to care for Kisaragi and they decide to go to Central, the business district. Kisaragi becomes the center of attention when they get there due to his last duel. Emil takes him to a date spot where they can see the ocean view. His sister calls him because he has not told her about it and asks him whether he is with a girl. He assures her that he is not with any girl, and to check him up, she visits his academy. She gets along well with Emil knowing that he is a boy, although thinks he may be into dudes. 
they decide to go to a concert on Zwei Island with Kisaragi. They go to the cafeteria, and while eating their food, Claire, with her assistants, appears and asks Kisaragi to help in the student council. He would be recruited as a slayer against savages in the unit selections under orders of HQ. Emil interferes by telling her also to allow him to join Kisaragi. To show his abilities, he starts a duel with Vice Prudent. While fighting, an emergency alarm rings that savages have attacked Zwei Island. Charlotte appears and asks Kisaragi and Emil to join their first battle with Claire and others. They enter a room where different students analyze the attack of savages on Zwei Island. A colossal savage of Trenta's class appears as one of three savages, so Claire decides not to bring them to battle and go with the other two slayers to hold on to the attack of savages while the help from HQ comes. However, when she is about to head to the island, Kisaragi stops her to ask permission for an attack on the savages with her. He tells her about savage attack on him in his childhood and assures her to help in battle. She allows them to come to battlefields after hearing their recommendation from Lisa, their computer system. In plan they devise their plan to defeat savages and decide to divide into groups and don't allow Kisaragi and Emil to fight with Trenta class savage because of their zero experience. Claire and others jump out of the plane and plunge their attack using their hundreds. They attack savage with full spirit and defeat it, showing their abilities to newcomers. Kisaragi and Emil also fall from the plane and plan to create a smokescreen and attack savage core. They do so and manage to defeat Savage. While dealing with Savage of Trent, the class, other than Claire, faces great damage. When Kisaragi and Emil decide to help them, Claire stops them and fights with the Savage alone. But her hundred lacks energy. The Savage shoots fire at her, but Kisaragi carries her away from the attack. Savage again launches its attack, but its aim is on airport where the citizens are evacuating. Kisaragi and Claire use their energy to create barriers and evade attacks on mountains. Emil fights with Savage, who attacks him, but he does not manage to avoid its attack and cuts through the body, uncovering it. Kisaragi sees her body and remembers that Emil is female with the name Emilia Hermit. It's the same girl he was when Savage attacked him once. He asks her to take the vice president away and use full body armament unconsciously to attack Savage. Kisaragi loses control, but Emilia manages to bring his consciousness back and advises him to gather all energy into Flying Swallow to attack Kor. He does so and cuts Savage to defeat it with all his power. Claire also discovers that Emil is female, and they return to the little garden on the plane. On asking Kisaragi, Emilia tells him that those infected with the Savage virus are called variants. They both are infected. She knew that he would be admitted to Little Garden, so she also joined it and pretended to be a guy because she wanted to be his roommate. And there is another reason she can't tell about. Due to being variant, he has lost memories and is on the verge of death, his virus acts, and he loses consciousness and goes on a rampage. Emilia has control over virus activation, and she administers her inactivated virus by kissing him. Claire gets in his room to check if Emilia has transferred to the room but gets involved in a fight with Emilia. On the plane, Sekura, an idol whose concert was cancelled due to the savage attack, sees the video of the hero Slyre, who defeated savages. The concert of Sekura has been moved to next month, Little Garden will be responsible for security and Sekura wants a bodyguard. Kisaragi, along with Emilia and others, practices on the ground, where Kisaragi learns to control his variant power. Claire calls her to have him on a mission to be a Kirishima Sakura bodyguard for the concert on Zwei Island next week. There were seven savages recorded to attack the island, and four of them had been shot down. But the remnants of only one were found, and there are chances the other savages would attack there. He agrees to be a bodyguard and goes to his sister in the hospital to tell her about it, and the ticket he arranged for her to attend the Sakura concert. He goes to Zwei Island and meets Sekura at the airport. In the car, she asks him if he has a favorite song, but he does not listen to her songs. They get to the hotel, where he asks to go into her room, but due to his first time as a bodyguard, he needs to learn to check her room. She asks whether he is the Kisaragi, and he tells her it's his first time being a bodyguard. When they enter her room, seeing her being alone with him, she proposes to him to marry her. She shows him the video of him attacking Savage, which she got from the Cybernet. She tells him that she fell for him after seeing that video and tells him how they would explain their first meet-up to marriage ceremony sequences to the media. To make her stop staying random stuff, he tries to kiss her, but she avoids him and goes to the bathroom to take a bath. <laughs> She asks him to give her PDA, which he gives her to record the lines she is coming up while singing in the bathroom. 
They both get out, and she attends her conference and other tasks easily. She takes him to the stage and shows her hundred, which is fairy fairy tale, allowing her to have wings and fly. Charlotte and Maymay also arrive there to help Sekura use her hundred usefully. Sekura is a field control type slayer who can create a personal field to create illusions and fly around however, she is unable to create any weapons. He decides to go to the public bath and, using his key, he enters and notices that Amelia is already there taking a bath. She asks him to take a bath with her, he does so. She explains to him that she able to get him due to her key, which is still the same as Kisaragi. She lets him see her scar, which is fading away due to her feeling good after seeing him. He asks her if she can come to Zwei Island because after doing work with President in the morning, he will be free and have time till the afternoon when the concerts will be started. We see that Sekura is praying for her song to reach people, and some are observing the stage. They plan on doing something after the concert because the people would be happy and wary of slayers who would resist them. Sekura is standing on the terrace and thinks about what her mother once said about music, that it has the power to make people happy. On orders of the president, Kisaragi reaches her summer house, where she is sunbathing. She tells him that she got news from HQ that a variable stone had disappeared during the savage attack from the concert venue. Variable stones are rare ores, which Sekura planned to use it at her concerts. The thief will come there to have more ores. He has to guard Sekura and make his mission a success. She also wants a rematch with him in terms of swimming. He does not agree to have a swimming contest and runs away from there. He meets Amelia in a market, where she is wearing a girly dress and takes Kisaragi to change his outfit. Amelia. He buys her a pendant, and when they are about to go from there, his academy fellows arrive there. Kisaragi and Amelia hide from them as Amelia pretends to be a guy in the academy. They get out of the store, and Amelia buys them some drinks. Kisaragi gets a call from Claire that Sekura has disappeared from her of her own will. But she sounds angry at him and gets to know that she knows he went shopping with Amelia after turning down her swimming contest. So to compensate for it, he agrees to go shopping with her in the future. He wonders where Sekura can go, she suddenly appears before him. She is there to get him and takes him to the location she wants. When Emil returns with drinks, she doesn't see Kisaragi in the designated place and receives a text on her phone from him. In the car, Sekura informs Souffle of her being with Kisaragi and will return by rehearsal. They arrive at the Zwei Grand Canyon, and she has memories of her mom in this place. She thinks that he preserved her memories with her mother, and she shows gratitude to him. She starts to hum a song that Kisaragi listens to from his sister. She suddenly asks him about the savage attack on Gutenberg and whether he was there or not. He tells her although he doesn't remember it well, he was there and she tells him that she was with two siblings and used to sing a song which was composed for her. Those siblings happen to be Kisaragi and Karen, and she tells him that she had started liking singing thanks to his encouragement, he changed her life. She got ill due to the virus, was taken to her father's homeland, and was hospitalized. She was sold to the Warslarn Research Facility under Vitaly, where kids were injected with savage fluid as a vaccine, and she made it out of there. The facility aimed not to cure illness but to create slayers artificially. Even though children got their hundred by, they gave vaccines to grant powers. He comes to know that Sekura is also a variant. On hearing from Kisaragi about him being a variant, she gets excited that it can be a miracle they meet again to spend their lives together. After saying this, they get a taxi to prepare for rehearsal, but just then a savage attacks their taxi. Kisaragi as a slayer starts to fight with savages. Due to the unavailability of a variable suit, his movements and powers are not functioning as normal. Just as the savage is about to fire on Kisaragi, Sekura comes and uses her hundred to shield the attack. Thanks to her help, he manages to power up his sword and charge the savage and successfully penetrates its core. Another savage appears and fires at them, but Sekira's shields do not last long this time. Other academy members, including Emilia, arrive there and attack the savage, but the savage can heal and regenerate itself. Now they plan to cut its arms and penetrates its core, but when its arm is cut down and Kisaragi is about to cut through the core, it readily regenerates its components. When Kisaragi is again about to kill savage, someone appears on the savage and hits Kisaragi. A group of people arrive and kill the savage and start to fight Kisaragi and others. They have their powers, and one imitates the sword of Kisaragi. Kisaragi has a sled idea that they might be those Claire mentioned, the people who stole the variable ores. When Kisaragi is in limits, Emil helps him using molding his hundred. They have completed their goal of capturing the cores of savages and giving them to Vitaly as she will get happy on getting cores, and they retreat. The rescue team arrives on the scene and takes them back. 
Claire informs them about those people that they are probably hunters, those slayers who do not obey any law. Their mission was to get cores because their molecular structure is almost similar to the variable ore, and one can use them to reconfigure them to form hundred. This leads to a power imbalance in the country, and this knowledge is top secret. No one is allowed to get on the battlefield without approval, but Fritz and Riesha, along with Emil, go without it. Claire approves the capability of Riesha on the battlefield and considers her entry into the selection. On the way back, Kisaragi apologizes to Emilia for leaving her behind. But she does not mind. Sekura is on stage to think about singing at her special place. In the hospital, Karen teaches Kisaragi to cheer on Sekura, being her bodyguard. Sekura calls him Top Ocean and says that her songs hit other hearts because she is variant, and most people are variant so that they can feel her songs. Kisaragi ensures him that it was not the case, back then, Kisaragi and Karen felt her songs. It's her concert day, and she uses her hundred to fly over the arena. She sings her precious songs and her voice is soothing and touches everyone's heart. In the morning, Karen takes Sakura's autograph and feels happy to know that Sakura is the girl they met back then. Sakura tells her that thanks to them, she is a singer today, and when leaving, she kisses Kisaragi on his cheek. The next day, Kisaragi opens his eyes and finds Sakura in bed. Claire and Emilia also come on the scene and try to leech away Sakura from Kisaragi. <laughs> Meanwhile, a man is sitting in a helicopter and someone is informing him about Lisa that she has a strong response over something, and the man says that the time has finally come. This day, everyone, even Karen, has come to the beach to enjoy the time. Sekura is with Kisaragi and enjoying with him in the water. Emilia cannot get in the water because she has to pretend to be a guy. Sekura has made a lot of food for Kisaragi, but Emilia does not like how Sekura treats him. Sekura learns that Kisaragi and Emily are childhood friends. Sekura also met him one day and considered herself his childhood friend too. Karen interrupts by saying that she has always been with her brother and is his best childhood friend. They decide to continue with their lunch and join Fritz in playing volleyball. Riesha and Fritz are on one team, and Kisaragi and Emilia are on another. They play using their energies, and somehow, the ball goes to the place where Claire is. Kisaragi goes to get the ball but unfortunately falls on Claire. <sighs> There a helicopter arrives where Judar, CEO of Warslorn, also the brother of Claire, gets down from the copter. He has come there to check out Claire and the other soldiers, and on seeing Kisaragi, he calls him Rising Blood and Holder of Divine Blood and takes Claire with him back to Little Garden. She calls everyone in student council to inform them about the anti-savage cleanup operation, which will be performed under the guidance of Uni's Joint Operation Task Force, the Peacekeeping Army. Little Garden will be sending soldiers from selections and allow Fritz and Riesha to join selections. When they are about to return, Judar takes Kisaragi to chat. He shows him the power of Little Garden, Lisa, the first slayer and variant created by humanity and the sister of Claire and Judar. Claire arrives, points a gun at Judar, and asks him to bring Kisaragi. He says that Kisaragi might be a powerful slayer in the future, so he has to protect Lisa, and Kisa consists of divine blood, which Lisa might be able to wake up. He asks Kisaragi to touch the capsule where Lisa is captured and release his energy, but it does not affect the capsule. He tells them that Vitaly is after Lisa, and that is why he has to have a chat with her underling hunters. He goes away, as well as Claire and Kisaragi, and she orders him not to speak about what happened there. On plan, they are informed about the operation, pointing over the map that 50 savages are lurking, and their base Kamo is in Tianquan City. Judar picked some members for the operation as they had fought with hunters already, and it would be easy if they arrived there. When they arrive on the location, a girl approaches Emilia, who introduces herself as Kisaragi by the name Claude Lodi, it is revealed that Emilia is the princess of the Gutenberg family. Emilia refuses to go back to her family because she loves Kisaragi. Claude considers Kisaragi its reason and challenges him to duel with different weapons over Emilia. <laughs> And after an intense showdown, Kisaragi wins. Claude does not give up on Emilia and returns. Kisaragi and Emilia come to market, and there are those hunters also present. They are divided into squads and will go to designated mountain entry points through their helicopters. After spending a night, clearing out the area from savages will return to base. Emilia is in the squad with Claudia, who is still bringing Emilia with her. Claire comes and makes her understand that if Emilia does not want to go, Little Garden will do anything to keep her here as she is her crewmate. They are ready to get on helicopters and leave Liu Zume behind as a backup. Kisaragi and Claire's squad fights with savages on reaching their destination. Claudia shows off her ability, and along with Emilia, they hit Savage. 
Hunters also arrive there and observe the squads. The other squad also fights well with the savages and finish two of them. When Kisaragi and others finish clearing the area, they get together to eat food, and it seems it will rain soon. The Kisaragi groups divide up to maintain their energy by sleeping and protecting their hideout. Emilia ends up with the vice president and out of the shelter for security. Kisaragi and others are inside to rest, and when they wake up, they are informed about 42 savages have been killed. Emilia and the vice president go inside to sleep, and Kisaragi and Claire are outside, witnessing the star's beauty. Claudia interrupts them by saying she has a large shadow near a lake. She makes Kisaragi and Claire go towards the shadow by saying that it might be a savage. When they arrive, they see a savage and transmit a message to Claudia to come there, but the transmission does not work due to a jamming section installed by hunters. She thinks that if there is just one savage, she can take care of it by herself and charge toward it, but she slips and falls due to rainwater on the ground. When the savage is about to attack, Kisaragi helps her defeat the savage. She goes to water to clean herself and talks about his variant and how it feels when the virus is activated, and her sister Lisa must have felt it. Savage fluid was injected into the embryo by her mother, not Vitaly, who is just an assistant of her mother. When Claire is about to be attacked by Savage, Lisa unleashes forbidden power and since that day, she has been sleeping but is the source of Little Garden. Judar wants to use Lisa as a trump card, whereas Claire wants to save Lisa. Meanwhile, Emilia cannot sleep and come out of the tent, where Claudia tells her that Kisaragi went on Claire to a date. When Kisaragi tells her about his ambition being the same as hers to protect the people from savages, he gets an emergency call from Squad D that hunters have eliminated them. Claire says Kisaragi to go to the tent to alert them while she goes to the other squad as reinforcement. She arrives there in her full body armament, asks them about Vitaly, and surrenders the hundred they stole. But the rain starts, on which the hunter says that luck is on their side. In the rain, they simultaneously attack her, damaging Claire's cannon first, then her. Her ability power decreases in the rain, and taking it as a benefit, they hit her. Kisaragi, with others, reach there to help her and asks the hunters to surrender, but they resist and fight back. Emilia powers up and almost defeats two hunters, and Kisaragi fights with the last one, the boy hunter. He starts telling them that they have seen despair and want to change the world so that the powerful cannot oppress the weak. While fighting that, memories of the boy hunter begin to flow in Kisaragi. They and others used to be enslaved, but they somehow escaped there. They go to a woman who says she can give them the power to get free. Kisaragi gets emotional and says he has a hundred to protect others' smiles and make the world a better place to live in. He says he uses his full body armament, and that boy also uses his variant power at full potential and fights each other. The large variant of power drainage has a troll on Hunter's body and falls back. A savage appears from the sea who can fly and fire towards Squad B that boy returns the hundred he had stolen in exchange for getting core and used his variant power. He charges at the savage, but it has a barrier around it and fires again at him. The jamming device is called off by the hunter, and on discussing with Lisa, they decide to charge at the savage at once to break the barrier around it, and she calls other slayers to do so, and Kisaragi will give a finishing blow to the savage. They accumulate their energy and fire on the savage, but savage also fires back at them, and due to damage, some slayers cannot fire, and the barrier cannot be broken down. Their last option is to inject Kisaragi's virus into Claire by kissing to defeat Savage, but it can affect her. He transmits the virus to her and then again charges fire on the Savage. This time Claire has more energy due to variant power, and they finally can destroy the barrier. Kisaragi charges Savages with his potential and variant power and manages to cut Savages into pieces. He also drowns in the sea, and Emilia goes to him to save him from the water. There are injured slayers in the plane and having treatment, but it has been impossible for them to continue their mission and leave it to other squads to continue the mission. The three hunters have been taken to Little Garden on orders of Judar. Kisaragi is unconscious and hospitalized, and Emilia is about to kiss him but stops because Karen and Sakura also get there to see him. Karen and Sakura seem suspicious of Emilia, but she makes some lame excuses. Karen believes it, but Sakura still suspects her of something and Kisaragi comes into consciousness where we see a female around the fluid-filled drums and learn that the three hunters she sent are not coming, but she is not worried because there is no hindrance in her plan now. Meanwhile, some people are fighting with the savages but are being defeated by them. A girl attacks the savage, but this one has no core, and it releases a cringing sound when that woman comes and shoots her in the back to kill it and says that her test is succeeded. 
The juniors and little Gardena had their vacations in Yamato and brought snacks, but Charlotte could not resist eating them. The hunters have yet to show any special movements and are cooped up in an underground facility without giving special information. Warlarn's HQ could find Vitaly's lab, but she had left it already. The lab has erased their important information, and she is on the loose. The slayers from other countries will provide security during Garden Festa, which is the event to celebrate the launching of Little Garden. This event is open to the public, and Sekiro will sing there using her special magic. The little robots have been organized to help in the preparations for Festa. In the building, Kisaragi sees Sekira going somewhere other than Karen's room and following her, he comes to the room where Karen and Charlotte are also present. He gets to know that Karen will also be singing in Festa, which is Sekira's secret weapon. Karen is provided with a hundred, due to which she would be able to jump and fly. She has developed an affinity for hundred and has been practicing hard on hundred and singing lessons. Kisaragi encourages Karen on her singing, and Sekira throws him out of the room. The festa begins where there are food stalls and other things and the food is brought to those hunters. This hunter considers slayers as enemies because they took hundreds of two hunters. Jordan appears there to wish Sekira luck as she will be singing in Little Garden and shows her appreciation. He also wishes good fortune to Karen, who will be singing, and her song will prove powerful. The concert starts with Sekira's song, which also uses her hundred. That woman, most likely Vitaly, sneaks into Little Garden through the hypnosis of one slayer. Karen also arrives on stage and introduces herself there. She has been sick for a long time and wants those in the same condition as her to listen to her singing. Due to her hundred, divine card, she can stand up and start singing and everyone begins to enjoy her singing, including that one girl. As Karen sings on the concert with her mesmerizing voice making others attractive to her, Sakura comes down to sing together with Karen on stage. Their song is also broadcasted in the cities, Lisa also finds their voice amazing. While listening to the song, Claire gets the news that a security officer is found conscious near the staff gate, who is most likely to be Wendy Velvet. She has no injuries, and her memories are erased about when she got there and said something about Savage without the core. A mechanical bee is found in the city and soldiers try to capture it, but it explodes. The other one goes to the electrical relay, but Reisha kills it. Different bees are exploded in cities interrupting concerts broadcast by being exploded in electrical relays. The situation changes into an emergency to destroy the exploding bees. Claire gets the news from students that when they were evacuating citizens, they recorded the transformation of robot helpers into bees. Claire orders to destroy the remaining cleaning robots, and they find variable stones from those bees' debris. Claire and Charlotte predict the person behind this commotion to be the woman, Vitaly Tyvianov. There are orders to hold Gardens Festa and focus on evacuating people. Students are also ordered to help. An uproar is created in the concert, but Sekura tries to calm them down. Claire and Charlotte watch the footage where Vitaly controls Wendy to let her infiltrate the ship. A bee injects a virus into the air defense system, making radar dysfunctional. The aircraft was observed to be crashed in their front and back airport and could not be noticed due to radar dysfunctionality until it got reached the airport. Several savages without cores appear with powerful skin not to be penetrable with conventional weapons. These are replicants created by Vitaly using variable stones and savage cores. Kisaragi and Emilia got there and informed them that the person involved in this was Vitaly, and told them to protect hunters from her. While at it, they get alarmed about the aircraft crash from above, and more replicants appear from there. Claire is about to fight with them but is stopped because she can pull the strings behind the scenes by controlling and commanding the students to handle the situation. Instead, Kisaragi and Amelia stepped up to protect the public from savages. Those hunters wonder if she is vitally attacking to get them, but they do not believe it as vitally cannot cause damage to the public in the festival. Meanwhile, vitally comes to their room and give them their hundreds to attack Little Garden. They resist her, not helping her against the public, on which she tortures them. The aircraft that landed is on the barrier to destroy it, and Kisaragi arrives to destroy savages emerging from there. Meme reaches out to hunters, but they are already in control of Vitaly and attack him. Vitaly and three hunters infiltrate further and head to Sector 11, where Lisa is sleeping in a capsule. Jordan calls Claire to tell her to let him deal with Vitaly. Without a core, the savages have to deal with it because they have no weak points. Vitaly uses one hunter as a decoy for an electrical barrier, due to which others resist her, and when she is about to torture them, <laughs> Maymay appears with a gun to shoot at Vitaly. After some fight, Vitaly runs away to the place where Lisa is. Their Judar is already standing. She is doing this to have revenge on him by killing Lisa as he pretended to love her and after using discarded her. She wants to destroy Little Garden and show how powerless the Slayers are compared to them. She created bees and savages that produce creepy sound waves affecting the Slayers on the ship. 
just then Vitaly shoots at Lisa but she is somehow unaffected due to the crystal and awakes. Vitaly does not understand how Lisa is awake. Judar tells her that he used Vitaly again to wake Lisa by the Secura voice and let Vitaly create chaos on the ship for his purposes. She shoots him too, but he creates a barrier using his sister Lisa and shoots back at Vitaly to kill her. He asks Lisa to get some rest, but she needs to do something and goes to Secura to let her know that her song can drive the creepy sound away and kiss Karen on her forehead, making her unable to stand. They both use their hundreds and sing, which makes the students regulate their normal strength. Kisaragi uses his whole body armament to deal with Trent as class replicant, and defeats it without any power left. But the replicant gets activated again and is about to fire. <laughs> However those hunters appear and prevent its attack. The replicant also attacks them and corners the boy hunter to fire at him. The hunter with Trace Hundred uses her power to create a replicant and kill the harmed one. Claire arrives there and learns that she is in the same condition as Lisa, and if she loses her control, she will release high energy, and by ceasing her vital function, she can be controlled. Lisa comes to Kisaragi and tells him to stop that hunter to save her and Claire. He calls her name, but she considers him an enemy and attacks him, but Emil manages to save him. Kisaragi tries to understand that she is free and has to believe in him and others to protect her, but when she is about to lose control, he enters in spiritual words and tells her to believe in them as friends. In such a way, they become able to save Little Garden. At night, Kisaragi and Amelia decide to go see the fireworks and confess their feelings and kiss each other. The others arrive to them, and it is revealed that Amelia is a girl as well Princess of Gutenberg. Claire comes up out of nowhere and, in jealousy, shoots at them, which they barely avoid. That concludes the anime for now, let me know your thoughts down below and I'm out. Oh, yes.